Okay, we're live with James Medic speaking, trainingsites.io. Um, what if I could show you how to go from 128 steps for creating an online course down to five steps? Well, and maybe 45 in between. So 128, 45 to five, I'm gonna show you how to make that transition because it's already happening. And I'm talking about how do we use AI and more importantly, all of the brand new AI agents that are coming out to dramatically change not only the way that we create content, but we think about how we run our online education businesses. Um, there's all sorts of stuff happening in the AI space. It's hard to keep up. I get that. But in the big picture, there are, and again, this is my gist on it from the research that I've been doing over the last two years, watching the technical people. I'm trying to figure out how does this apply to the teaching business, education business, this is kind of the steps that I'm seeing or I'm hearing about. We've got AI tools, we've got AI agents, and then we've got agents of agents with names like Agentic or AGI, some of these other pieces. That AGI stuff I don't think is here yet. The thing is that AI agents is here, and I'm going to show you how that can take you from 128 right down to 45 steps in terms of you having to interact to create an online course. This is absolutely huge. And when you're thinking of it in terms of your business, if you're running a business and you think you're running a business, you have the opportunity to be an employee or an operator. You also have the employee to be a manager. And you also have the opportunity to be, in our case, the CEO or the boss of your company. Right now, we're all the operators when it comes to using tools like ChatGPT and Claude. There's a whole bunch of things that we have to do. We have to be involved in when we're saying, hey, I want to create an online course. What are the things that I need to do to be able to create that online course? And I'm going to show you, basically, I put together a little bit of a course here that's available for you. And again, um, this content, anything that I show you in terms of courses and videos and prompts, it's always available for free at trainingsites.io forward slash join. Everything that I do that has to do with starting, building, growing education business, it's free, it's live, and it's here. So please take the time to uh, go and join. But I'm putting this in 128 steps, and that's if I'm using ChatGPT. That's if I'm going and I'm getting really good at prompting, and I'm being able to create projects and you know type in a proper prompt and go back and forth with it. But if you're starting out, just to give you an idea of what's involved, is I kind of picked out a whole bunch of tasks that I normally go through. And then I had, in this case, Claude, I asked, you know, give me some more details. What are the actual steps that can happen for a lot of people? I'm not saying that you everyone does these, but this just gives you an idea of the steps that can and should be done if you're looking at it from someone who's the operator who's actually tasked with doing it. You know, and they might have a whole section on foundation and planning, right? They had 23 inputs that I identified. Make it a little bit bigger here so you can see it. But, you know, brainstorming course topics and angles, uh, looking at uh, audience surveys, trying to do research on competitor courses, picking out how you're actually going to price things, uh, how you're going to deliver it. Uh, what are the quiz questions? This is just stuff doing the research to get started, right? How are you going to do the confluent for? How are you going to do a syllabus? How are you going to get people engaged to actually go and do the work? 35 inputs for content creation. If you had a script written, you, you know, obviously you have to have something that you can use to follow along for that script. Thumbnails, promotional graphics, relevant images, infographics, onboard materials, email sequences, FAQ content, Community guidelines, planning session profiles. There was all those ones that came up. Technical and marketing support, 42 things. Actually taking those emails that were written, put them into the CRM. Uploading or setting up our social media posting service that was actually done. Making sure that we've got lead magnets or pages that we can get people to actually go and opt in or purchase a course. Sales pages, affiliate documents. So you get the picture, we've got this 128 steps and that is using ChatGPT or Claude. We're still the person actually doing the work. Now, the exciting part is, is, you know, I've been talking about this. And again, there's all sorts of great material about this. And some of these things you still have to do and you will always have to do. However, for creating courses, 
AI agents are changing the tasks that are required for us. So it's not necessarily us having to do all of these tasks because we now have an assistant, an AI agent that is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week that we can give a task for or a task to and it will complete them. So instead of those 128, we're down to 45 steps. Now here's an example for foundation and planning. There's only eight things that I might be responsible for now because I'm the manager and I have an assistant. I'm no longer the employee, I'm the manager. I got someone doing a task for me. And a task is a series of prompt and responses in a sequence for a specific outcome. So, you know, for example, the part that I may have to do is I may have to make sure that I can define my teaching style and personality that is used when my assistant is out doing all of this work. Um, I may need to approve any of the competitor analysis. My assistant goes out, does the homework, the research, comes back. I'm going to have to take a look at it. Um, I may get some research back from an agent that says there's 12 courses priced at this with this many modules. There's these ones here that cover this. You know, here's your choices. Here's what I recommend. I'm still going to have to go. I'm the manager. I'm going to have to make a decision on which ones I want to go and why. Um, you know, where I'm going to put it, any of the course descriptions, the sales pages, that work's going to be done, but I still have to make decisions about stuff that's coming back from my particular uh, staff that's done the work. It's all about approving and reviewing at that point and making sure that you know what tasks that you want to give to someone. What are the things that you don't like doing and what are the things that you do like doing? I know for myself and uh, I would think if you're in the teaching business or the education business, you're really passionate about something, you like talking about something, you like sharing it with people, you like teaching other people how to do that. I don't want to have to go and do 128 tasks that have nothing to do with basically being in front of the camera or creating content or actually working one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's a coaching call or a workshop or whatever you end up having to do. So, you know, those pieces now are about reviewing things and sending it back for more work for clarification or deciding if it's needed or not. Examples, uh, you know, 15 ones for the technical and marketing stuff. Are these the ones for my affiliate material? Are they okay? Are those social media posts are okay? And AI handles the sales copy, the social media content creation, the blog post writing, the email marketing sequences, the lead magnet development, launch planning, all of that stuff. It's done by AI agents. And the scary slash cool part is, is I can show you that today. It's here. We're not talking about three months from now or six months from now. Well, it's going to even get better and better by then. Right now, there's three or four different tools that you can go and use to cut it from 128 to 45. And I'll just give you some examples. These are ones, and I've done some videos on them already. So again, they are in trainingsites.io if you haven't joined already. Here's one called manis.im. Uh, I'll show you this one uh, just because it was one of the first ones that I used. That one is an AI agent. It is a browser agent. So anything that you can do in a browser window, this is an AI agent that does that on your behalf. And I basically said, here is a course syllabus. I want you to create a seven lesson course. And I gave it the prompt that I wanted it to use, creating the le individual lesson content. So I said, go and create the course with seven lessons following the syllabus. And then I said, after that, what I want you to do is I want you to go and upload it to my WordPress site and add it as a course in my Learn Dash learning management software. I basically said to my assistant, create the course, upload it to the LMS. I gave it tasks. It did it. This was one and it went through the different pieces, suggested the ways to do it, actually went through, was working on my browser live in front of me just like I was doing it, but it was all done for me. That one's called manis.im. I got a couple of videos on how that works. And again, you can go play around with it, see it, very, very cool. And that's just from two months ago. There's a whole bunch of additional features that they've added since then. There's another one called genspark.ai. This is a powerful, powerful general AI browser agent that adds the ability to use and or leverage things like your Google Sheets, 
your Notion database, your calendar, your email. So when it's actually working for you as an AI agent, it has reference or can use the other stuff that you have in your business. Uh, there's another one that just came out that I ran into, and this one is called uh, runner.hcompany.ai. And the way that this one is kind of cool is it does the exact same thing. So we got a permanent AI assistant, but we can create connections to all sorts of additional data outside of our calendar. And I'm talking about things like the Notion database or messaging systems. Again, really, really cool. And they... You can even sell some of these or having the pay thing coming quickly. So those are three just right off the bat. They're available today for you to hand off. You're the manager. Hand off these tasks. You don't have to bother with them. So we would just went from 128 to 45 tasks quickly and easily just by getting an agent to follow some of these kind of processes and tasks that we've put together. Now, that one's kind of cool. I'm into it. I like being a manager, but man, I'd love to be a CEO, wouldn't I? Well, that's kind of the next space because what's happening after that is we're getting into what some people call agentic or AGI. I don't really know what to call it at this point. The way I look at it is we're actually looking at uh, agents of agents. So if I have an agent or an assistant doing one task for me, now I can have a whole bunch of agents working on all of the tasks in a particular area. So think of it like a department. If I'm the CEO now, I have a, an assistant, a personal assistant, a one-off for a one-point task. But now I'm the CEO. I can just say to the department, do this and get it done. And in fact, the department can even come back to me and say, hey, we've got this upcoming. Maybe we should do this. And that is having memory and being able to recommend the kind of things that are involved in the goals or the outcomes that we've set in our business. So, for example, if I'm going to go and say, hey, you know what, I want to be able to uh, have um, a course a month, for example, or I want to make sure that we have social media uh, built into this particular uh, time frame or content. And these are the things that I want covered. Just go to the social media department, hand it off. It gets done for you. So we've got agents of agents. I'm the CEO, right? I'm not the employee. I can just give all of the stuff that I want done as a big picture, and it's actually going to go and do it. Now, I've included this content here uh, for you. This is, uh, you know, when I'm kind of thinking about this from where we are, I'm thinking 12 months, this agentic stuff, you know, 12, 18 months, that's 2026. We're going to see this. The AI agent stuff is here now. It's early days. It's not perfect, but two months, three months from now, that's what everyone is going to be using. They're going to have that available in their businesses. So you got to kind of think, where am I going to fit in on this? What the part for me? Where should I spend some time, energy, and effort? If I'm thinking of my business, where do I want to work? Do I want to be the employee? Do I want to be the manager? Or do I want to actually be the CEO? What's best for me? Um, right now, I'm trying my best to get into that manager part because and as much as I know all the other things, I don't want to do that. I just want to be able to be in front of the camera and doing this kind of stuff. So I'm looking for the manager part. And here's the really cool part when we're doing this is uh, I had Claude. I just said, hey, give an example of this. And it basically put together. Uh, let me see if I can get this one done up here so we see it. Hopefully it'll come up and you're able to uh, put it together here. Let me see what I got here. Perfect. Let me see if I can get this one to go up. No, it's not going to work for me. Let me try this one. Oh, darn. Okay, not going to work. So what I did is I basically said, give me a graphical representation of how this works. Uh, and I'll put this page again. It's available for you. By the way, this page, I just asked for a page. I didn't create it. I didn't say anything other than create a page for me. And it created a page with me not doing any edits or changes to it, but Claude just put this together as an infographic. So we've got AI tools, operator, AI agents, digital assistant, agentic systems. You're the department head and you're the boss basically telling them what to do. So for me, market research, eight tasks if I'm the operator, down and now I'm down to two and actions one. So you can see that all of these things are getting completely compressed as all of the 
changes come out from all of these AI platforms. AI tools, AI agents, agents of agents are agentic. We're in the AI, to, uh, agent, uh, AI agents part. It's here. So start playing around. Look at the links that I sent you and think about not what prompts I can use, but what are the tasks in my business that I should be leveraging or using AI to remove myself from doing all of the heavy lifting work. It still has to be done, but let's get someone else to do it. Don't get lost in the slop. Try and figure out right now. What are the things that I normally have to do? What are the things that I can tell an assistant to do who isn't necessarily a paid VA, but what is something in the browser that is a data entry thing that just requires AI to do it and basically get it set up and get those people working for you. I hope you kind of enjoyed this session. I really love all of this stuff. I'm super excited about it in the education space and I'm not afraid necessarily about being left out because I have all of these great ideas that I want to share and I want to be involved. And I think that's a huge benefit. Don't worry about replaced, being replaced in my uh, personal belief here. If you're creating slop and you want to just get AI generated content, yeah, you're going to have to be uh, afraid. But if you are really passionate about something and you want to share your transformation with other people, this is great stuff. It's here to leverage and it's here now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and of course, trainingsites.io forward slash join where you can get involved in our community where I help people start, build and grow their education business. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care and expect the best.